First, we select the bay that we require the ladders to be added to, and then pick the ladders icon from the toolbar. There are many ways ladders can be added, and depending on what components are in your Material Master depends on the outcome along with which settings you apply. Firstly, we will add a vertical ladder to the outside of the scaffold bay. To do this, we select a vertical ladder and the steel ladder material. We then select the side of the bay that we want to place ladder, and we have the options to line the ladder left, center, or right. For the ladder placement, we can choose all outside. We can also select if we want the ladder to alternate or if it's in a single access plane. We can add a ladder cage and ladder support tubes. To preview a ladder, we hit apply. The ladder angle can be changed between either parallel or perpendicular, depending on how we want the ladder to be placed on the bay. Finally, we can select the outside access type from fully open tubes to a swing gate. To exit the ladder dialog, hit OK. You can now see we've created a vertical ladder that runs from the bottom of the scaffolding to the top. To edit the ladder, select the bay and once more select ladders. This time we should convert the ladder to an inclined one using aluminium as a material and we should place them all inside and alternating at every level. Once more, this can be seen in our model view. Next, we're going to add a trapdoor. So once more, select the bay and the ladders icon. To add a trapdoor, it needs to be set up as a deck to deck transom in your Material Master. Once set up, you can apply it along with the hatch length and width. This has now created a trapdoor. And once more, if you look in your model view, you'll be able to see this. Likewise, if you have an access deck with a built-in hatch door, you can also apply this. Remember, this will need to be set up in your Material Master first. You can select the access deck with hatch door and also the ladder for the built-in hatch. Again, this can be viewed in our model view. Finally, within your ladders dialog, you have an option to delete the ladders from within here and also to save these settings as default, so next time you use Scaffold Designer, it will automatically use your settings.